Okay, no gadget game show this week because I'm here in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show. But don't worry, I have a badge for you too. You and I are going inside the show, so stay right there. CES is huge. 2.5 million square feet of exhibits. That's more than 43 football fields. There is so much to see here. From talking heads powered by artificial intelligence, to the first indoor smoker from GE, bioengineered neoplants which can clean the air 30 times better than traditional plants, Water Cube 100 which turns air into drinking water, and there are so many robots here. Some are truly adorable, some are fighting robots, some robots which are so tough you can't tip them over. Here, I'm getting a much needed rub down from this one-arm massage robot from France's Cap6 Robotics. There's even a robot from Nimble that gives you, get this, a manicure. Gotta love that. Probably one of the biggest trends here at CES has to be smart home technology. It's everywhere. A great example of that is right here at the Aper booth with the Aper Horizon U1 robotic lawnmower. Now this lawnmower is smart enough to avoid any obstacle in its way. A small animal, really anything, even a tennis ball. It's also the first robotic lawnmower to automatically adjust to different grass types and heights. And no need for underground wires. With the free app, you can easily set up boundaries for your lawn. And when the battery is down to just 10%, the lawnmower knows to go back to its charging station to recharge. Now that's smart. For more information, go to aper.com. Now talk about innovation. Check out this cooktop from Impulse Labs. It uses a new kind of induction technology that is truly ultra-fast cooking. For example, with a typical gas burner, it takes six minutes to boil a pot of water. With an electric coil top, it takes four minutes to boil that same pot of water. With most induction stove tops, it takes three minutes to boil a pot of water. But with the Impulse cooktop, you can boil a pot of water in just 40 seconds. Another cool feature, these control knobs are removable, so you can actually clean underneath it. I love that. For more information, go to impulselabs.com. Now, one bit of technology which really should be a must-have here at CES are these. These are Moonwalkers X, and these are really robotic shoes that actually clip onto your regular shoes, and they can increase your walking speed up to three times. Definitely a must-have here. A big trend here at CES is all about online security. Did you know that 80% of hacks are caused by stolen usernames and passwords? Well, Yubico's YubiKey is a physical key that's designed to protect your digital information. That includes your emails, your financial information, your social media accounts, and more. The YubiKey adds an extra layer of security beyond just a username and password. YubiKey start at just $25. Go to yubico.com. You never know who you're going to bump into here at CES, and I found Damon I John. I didn't know I was going to bump into you either. He's my favorite shark from Shark Tank. Hey, What's your favorite pick here at the show? Well, I, 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 don't, I don't do anything that I don't believe in, and that's why I'm here at AWOL Vision, because I knew that what I fell in love with last year is going to be even better and more groundbreaking this year. I absolutely love the, the big one where I get, the screen comes down, I can see the vision of my, my hard work on outside, but when I'm ready to watch, Rock TV pulls it up, and I don't care how bright it is, it looks crystal clear. And I just love the best of the best. Now what can ruin the fun for anyone who loves shopping, gaming, or anything with a virtual reality headset is something called VR sickness. You see, in the real world, your eyes focus on an object at its real distance. With most VR headsets, your eyes focus on the headset screen and is tricked into thinking the object is far away. That discrepancy leads to an upset stomach, especially with older headset users. Now, TDK has developed a chip that actually opens up the focal point so that the object's distance feels more natural. And if it feels more natural, there's no VR sickness. And let's face it, gaming is a lot more fun if you're not nauseous. 
Now CES is all about innovations, and Spec, a longtime phone case company, has actually got into the earbud business with these gem tones. Check them out. These earbuds actually solve a whole bunch of earbud issues. The clear lid snaps closed, so you're less likely to lose them. And this lanyard loop lets you attach them to your keys. These earbuds sync to a free app, so you can set volume limits, especially important to prevent hearing damage to a young person's ears. The app even has an earbud finder feature in case you misplace them. And how could that happen? Gem tones are available at specproducts.com. And finally, this is Adam. He's a robotic barista and bartender. He's currently making me a latte. Now, if you go to a show like this, you need a latte. That's really good. <laughs> From CES in Las Vegas, I'm Steve Greenberg. That latte was really good. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that little like button. If you didn't, or if you did, add some comments below. And remember to click that little bell so the next time we post another episode of What the Heck Is That? You will be notified. From the Consumer Electronics Show, Steve Greenberg saying, so long.